This video is intended for people interested in educational data mining and one of the student modeling approaches called Bayesian knowledge tracing. I'm going to demo a tool that can help you fit Bayesian knowledge tracing models quickly and easily. All you need is a basic knowledge of Excel and to be comfortable with running programs in command line. Let's first talk about Bayesian knowledge tracing. The goal of Bayesian knowledge tracing is to infer whether student knows skill or not from the pattern of right and wrong skill applications. It is a special case of hidden Markov model. In the hidden Markov model for Bayesian knowledge tracing, there are nodes for states in white here that denote whether skill is known or not known, and there are dark nodes for whether skill is applied correctly or incorrectly. Bayesian knowledge tracing keeps several parameters. P and it, or P of L0, is the probability of whether skill is mastered a priori. P learn, or P of T, is the probability whether the skill is transitioning into the known state after you apply it. P slip, or PS, is the probability of making a mistake when you know the skill. P guess is the probability of answering correctly when you do not know the skill. Also, Bayesian knowledge tracing keeps a P known or PL estimation of the skill, uh, of mastery of the skill. First of all, uh, let's uh, look at uh, preparing the data. If you go to the website of PLC Data Shop, you will have to register and get free login. Let's look at geometry area data set. Here to export the data set, we'll have to go to export tab. Click on select all data. Go to by student step and select a KC model. In this case, we'll select the original KC model. All we need to do is to click on export step prolog, and we're done. This is how the data set looks like. There are a lot of columns that we do not need. I have marked those that we are not going to be using, and I'm going to delete them. The columns that we're going to use are student uh, anonymous student ID, problem hierarchy, problem name, step name, first attempt, and knowledge component. First of all, let's move first attempt up front. Second of all, let's concatenate problem hierarchy, problem name, and step name together. Right. Now, let us paste this data as values. Cut the columns we just concatenated. And let's move this column after student ID. Um, next thing we need to do is to change the corrects and incorrects and possibly hints into uh, state labels. In this case, we'll change incorrect to two, replace all, correct to one, and there are actually no other labels. In this data set, there could be hint labels. We will not need column headers for our data. I've um, already cropped the data set, so it's going to be looking like this. Correcting correct labels, student names, the concatenation of the three variables, and the uh, knowledge component in the end. Next thing, uh, before uh, the actually running the analysis, we need to select a solver that we're going to use. By default, traditionally, we're going to be using a um, Baum-Welsh solver. We also can use a gradient descent or conjugate gradient descent solver. Let's run analysis on this data set. So we're uh, launching a Mac version of, this, of, the, uh, of the tool. Um, Baum Welsh Solver, file name, 
the crop file name and we're going to output into the model.txt file. This is quite fast. Um, let's look at the file that we just got. In this file, we have a list of cases and the lists of all the variables that we need. The variables are represented in a matrix form. So um, the prior of P of init is saved as P of L0 and 1 minus P of L0. We only need P of L0. The probability of um, transition P learn is again is 1 to 3 third value in the A matrix and P slip and P guess are third, second and third values in the B matrix. So in this file P init is the first value in the pi row learn is the third value in the A row. P sleep and guess are second and third in the B row for every KC. There are several other useful um, configurations. For example, you might want to change the tolerance of the fitting. The default value is 0.01. You might want to choose to um, run it in a quiet mode so there's less input. One of the uh, most useful ones are the uh, printing out fit metrics and printing out pr file with predicted values. Why don't we do just that? So we're again running a Mac version, a Baumwell solver. We want to print out fit metrics and file predictions in predict.txt. Prediction file is a two column file. The first is a probability of applying skill correctly. That's for label one in our original data file. The second column is the probability of applying skill incorrectly, for label two in our data file. Naturally, rows should sum up to one. If you want to tweak uh, fitting a little bit more, you might want to change the uh, default starting values of parameters. The default for pnet is 0.5, the default of plearn is 0.4, P slip and P guess defaults are 0.2. All you need to do is list some of the values from the matrices in a comma separated fashion. In this case, we're listing P of L0, 1, P of T, 1 minus P of S, P of G, since the vector pi sums to 1 and rows of A and B matrices all sum to 1, you don't have to list all the values. If you want to further tweak the uh, algorithm. You might want to change the upper and lower boundaries for parameters. For example, in the default version, um, there's no forgetting. So the first row of the A, ma A matrix has 1 and 0 as both lower and upper boundary. So these values cannot change. Also, it is usually advised to cap P of S and P of G at 0.3 or even at 0.2. Here we see that the upper boundary is 0.3 and 0.3. In this case, you list all of the values. First, the pi vector, then A matrix row by row, B matrix row by row for lower and upper boundary. Finally, you don't have to have just two observations. Some of the data sets in the data shop have a hint outcome in addition to correct and incorrect. This could be your chance to um, increase the number of, uh, number of observations. Also, you can have more than two states. This you can modify with a dash n option. If you want to try this tool, go to this page, download it, either the Windows, Linux, or Mac version, and give it a try. You can notice that this page is called Fitting BKT at Scale. In the end, let me show you um, what at scale actually means. I've taken a, a KDD Cup 2010 data set, which is really large. There are millions of rows. The file is almost one gigabyte. Let me run it and show you how quick this tool can work. For this, I'm going to be using gradient descent fitting. It's going to take a while just to read through the file. There are about 3,000 uh, students in this data set, almost 1,000 knowledge components skills. Let's wait till it finishes reading the file. It starts fitting skills, listing how many iterations it took, 
the starting and final log likelihood for each skill, fitting them quite quickly. Took 22 seconds just to fit, and overall 46 seconds. Here's your log likelihood, AIC, PIC, and RMSC. This is all. Um, visit data shop, download data sets, try this tool. If you have any questions, contact me via email or contact data shop team. Thank you.